President George W. Bush has been out of office almost a decade now, but he's still very much serving in a new way. Uh, the former president picked up painting a few years back, and well, now he's using those skills to pay tribute to America's warriors. News 8's Alicia Lavenger shows us the new exhibit putting courage on display. John's right there to the left of me. Robert Ferrara. Honestly, I, I didn't think I would be around today. Is a retired first sergeant in the U.S. Army. The way I was thinking back then. On my second deployment was wounded in eastern Afghanistan, uh, disabling uh, both of my lower extremities. Two servicemen, two stories, one powerful mural. They're among 164 heroes featured at the George W. Bush Presidential Center in Dallas. What he captured as far as the, the pain, uh, the guilt, it's all in that picture. And the former president hand-painted every single one. He has some really amazing skills. It's so much more about the fact that our uh, commander-in-chief took the time and dedicated so much of his life to capturing all of these stories uh, in one place so that the, the public can, can see this. The special exhibit is called Portraits of Courage, a commander-in-chief's tribute to America's warriors. This is a chance to honor and to help heal, uh, uh, help bridge the divide between the military and civilians. President Bush knows personally each man and woman on the wall who served post 9-11. He's funny. He, he gives you little zingers here and there and you give them back to him. And, and it's, he's a down-to-earth, genuine guy. It's this guy's effort to honor and share the personal stories of American war heroes that Robert appreciates the most. It was a, an amazing gesture, but seeing it here this morning, hanging up, is, is pretty awesome. Alicia Lavenger, Channel 8 News.